Nico's here, so things are going to get destructive, right? Oh, and now your brother's down here. I'm sure you two will be very quiet and well-behaved. Go ahead. Go chase him. Hi, BookTube. I'm Rebecca, and today I'm talking about the books I am hopefully reading for Sequelathon. Sequelathon is starting March 1st, which is in like two days, or tomorrow by the time I edit this, because there's no way I'm doing that tonight. And it ends on the 11th. I'm pretty excited. There are four challenges. I have like multiple books for each one. Classic me. Uh, and one in particular that I'm just not sure what I'm reading yet. The first challenge is to continue with the series you started last year, and for that I'm hoping to read Realm of Ash by Tasha Siri. I really wanted to read this one. I loved Empire Sand so much, <laughs> um, but I've been like kind of hesitating. I don't know why. I think part of the reason I'm reluctant to do it for Readathon is because it is large, but I do remember getting through Empire Sand like so quickly. So hopefully this one also goes that quickly. Next is to continue with a series that you started three or more years ago, and I honestly had a lot of options for this. I have narrowed it down to three. One is The Midnight Star by Marie Lu. This is the final book in the Young Elites series. I really liked the Young Elites and the second one. I had like a very weird relationship with them where like I enjoyed them but like, like I weirdly wasn't attached to any of the characters. I don't know why and I, I feel like that actually helped my enjoyment of it a lot but I, I just um I didn't pick this up right away, and then more and more time passed, and now I would absolutely have to read a summary of the first two books because, like, there are a lot of characters, and I don't 100% remember all of this, so this might be an option. Another option, I'm pretty sure I had it on my TBR last year, so yay. It's End of Days by Susan E. I started this one. I don't know. This is the third book in the Penrin in the End of Days series, which started with Angel Fall. And I really liked Angel Fall at the time. I don't know how much I would love them now if I were to pick them up. They were kind of tropey for the time, but like, I don't know. They were fun. So I, I still desperately want to finish. Again, I would definitely, definitely need to read some kind of summary because I haven't read those first few books since like 2015? 2016? 2015, probably. Maybe before that. My third option and the most likely one is Abhorson. This is the third book in the Sabriel series. I think it's just called the Sabriel series. I had read Sabriel when I was like in high school and I read the sequel Liriel last year for sequel thought. I actually did that in my 24 hour time. So there's a part of me that is thinking for my 24 hour readathon day to try to get through this entire book. I think it's a bit shorter than Liriel, so I, I should be able to do it. But because I read Sabriel and Liriel recently, I feel like I would no, I would not need to do any research before going into this one. I remember it, and I am excited to continue, but again, I'm just bad at that stuff. What is there? What are you attacking? There's no way you can even see out the window right now. The next one is to complete a series, and I actually think Realm of Ash would- uh, 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 Most of these would <laughs> fulfill that challenge. But naturally I have other books for it. They're both duologies. I think they're only supposed to be duologies as far as I know. One of them is The Iron Will of Jeannie Lo. This is a sequel to The Epic Crush of Jeannie Lo, which I have been raving about for a very long time. And again, I read Epic Crush recently, so I, I could easily just jump into this one and it would be fine. My other option is Wild Card by Marie Lu, which this is the second Marie Lu book that I have on this TBR. I really loved uh, Warcross. This is a sequel to Warcross. And I don't know why, I just, I, I just didn't pick it up. I think because I knew it was the conclusion. I don't know. So hopefully I get to at least one of them, because I think they'd be really quick reads. They're both like fairly short. I'm assuming Iron Will is like just as funny and delightful as Epic Crush from what I've heard it is. So I, I know I'd be able to read it so quickly. The last challenge is to catch up on a series in progress. And I again have two books for that, but because it requires me to read two books to fulfill this challenge, I would like to catch up on the Wayward Children series, which requires me reading in an absent dream and then come tumbling down. I know I'll be able to get through these. They're both so short. They're novellas and I've 
really enjoyed the other three in the series, and I read them, I think in a, each one I read in a day. I'm pretty sure it didn't take me more than a day to read any of them. I'm excited to catch up on this, and then I can, like, excitedly wait for the next book, like the rest of you have been doing for the last several years. I feel like every year on BookTube I've just been seeing another one of these books come out, and I've just confused them all because, like, they all had just, if you're not paying attention to the book series, they all had titles that, like, I couldn't follow. <laughs> but... <laughs> I'm excited to know which books are which now, although I confuse these two a lot still because I haven't read them. I didn't think about it until I was piling them all together, but this is a lot of books. This is eight books in 11 days. Obviously not happening. But anyway, this is what I'm hoping to read for sequel -a -thon. Please let me know if you're joining. Please join us. Just read sequels. Don't even, you don't have to follow the challenges if you don't care. It doesn't matter. Just read some sequels because we suck at this. And by we, I mean me. I suck at this. <laughs> So join me next time when I'm probably going to be on Twitter doing sprints for Sequelathon, uh, most likely on the 5th, which is a Thursday, when I'm doing 24 hours. And I'm going to slowly just be losing it a little bit.